So, welcome to Brief History Conspiracy. Uh, this week, the Battle of Los Angeles. Um, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe and, and drop it a like. It really does help us out. Right, we're doing the Battle of Los Angeles. This is one of my favourite UFO stories, actually. Um, it was always that one that I thought, kind of like Phoenix Lights, that, that was actually really good evidence. And then I sort of looked into it a bit more and I, th and I was really disappointed to find out that maybe it's not. As well, good yeah, as I there's, there's, there's some interesting... There are some interesting uh, bits of it, though. And, bits of it. And the government have come out and come out with a perfectly reasonable and unique... And, and, and they, I mean... They really, really pushed the boat out on their explanations in the 80s. Um, weather balloon. It's <laughs> always weather balloons. Weather balloons are really a nightmare. They just almost that much of a nightmare. You think they give a training course on identification of weather balloons so they didn't waste artillery rounds. And other and, aircraft and, and, as well. And time. Have you um, seen that? Um, it's a Facebook thing. I'll try and find it. And it's um, it's loads of different aircraft. And then there's like, a, you know, it's like um, just like a picture of it, like a little little cross section. And then there's like the Enterprise and Battlestar Galactic and picture and everything. But all of them say weather balloon, weather balloon, weather balloon, weather balloon, weather balloon. <laughs> and then there's a picture of a weather balloon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I think I might have seen that. Yeah. So on the the night of the twenty fourth of February, nineteen forty two, but then into the early morning of the twenty fifth, yes, there was this incident. It started on earlier. Actually, really started the day before, when a U boat, a Japanese U boat, rocked up and started shelling um, a, an oil field um, off um, Elwood. Um, um, didn't really hit anything. Of course, very minimal damage. And then bug it off. But it did sort of like... Mm, yeah, yeah. yeah and the, stirred up a few feelings. Yeah, the, the situation with uh, World War Two at the time and uh, yeah. in Japan. It's there's three a, months after Pearl Harbor. Exactly. There's a lot, lot of fear in, in the American people's yeah. minds. Well, you got to remember as well, because the war had started, nobody really knew what was going to happen. They were building air raid shelters. They were building, I mean, they, they were generally looking at Britain and the Blitz and thinking, oh, God, is that going to happen to us? All these anti-aircraft guns were going up. They were really mobilising for war, and it was yeah. stressing people out, yeah. which is understandable. I mean, um, and they'd always said that no war would ever be fought on these lands again. That was sort of um, their, like, the government's position. And then, obviously, this U-boat had attacked, and they thought, oh, God, is this the first step? You know, is this the first yeah. strike? Um, yeah, for the next Pearl Harbor, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Completely. And the night of the 24th, they had they had been putting alerts out saying that to be ready for an imminent attack, so everyone was on edge. Um, and then, at about three o'clock in the morning, yeah. they just started firing. Uh, so the blackout was ordered at two twenty-five. So yes, that's another yes, thing yes, is the, a... the city was blacked out. Yep. Um, which again must have been a bit like. Oh. Um, and then three sixteen, they started firing. Um, yeah, imagine air raid sirens going during the, the blackout as well, probably. Um, five people still died. There's a couple of car crashes oh, because of the blackout. I thought I heard attacks. it was six, but yeah. We'll go with six. Five or six then. We'll I go suppose it's differing. Yeah. It, it's probably the classification of one of the people as to whether their heart attack well, was related or, yeah, it's or not related to the... Five yeah. or six people died. There's also 13 births. So. so from an actual population point of view, it went up by eight. Or seven. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I like that. They're just the stress of it all. <laughs> you know, a couple of babies popped out. Yeah. So, 1,400 shells were fired. And these were um, these airburst f um, flak grenades, basically. So, the idea being that the, you you lob it into the yeah. air, it explodes, and it, it just throws metal over a large area. Um, you don't really need to aim them. The idea is to you, you know, just throw as much crap up into the air as you can and hit what you can. So, um, but there, and there was thousands upon thousands of fifty cal rounds fired. So yeah. they really went for it. I mean, they didn't. This isn't like America to overdo things and, <laughs> um, and to just 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 throw. Yeah, yeah they never, never, never like to do that. No. Um, so the, again, we'll just go through quickly with the official events. The next day, yes, the secretary Secretary of War said uh, about half a dozen aircraft had attacked. Yes, I want to be the Secretary of War. That is the guy's a title you want. And you, you imagine like a little plaque, and you think, 
because I am the Secretary of War. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it's quite, quite an interesting I would go title, in isn't it? Yeah. wearing like heavy metal rock outfit all the time. <laughs> war. <laughs> uh, uh, but the Secretary of the Navy said it would have been a false alarm. A lot of this was triggered as well by the fact that they, a radar operator had tracked something moving slowly along the coast. Um, yeah. But radar was new. They'd only had it a couple of months. The installations were new. The radar operators were new to it. Um, radar back then was a bit of an art because it picked up clouds and waves and all sorts of things. You get loads and of little shadows birds and birds. Yeah. So yeah, so it would have been yeah new 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 well new people interpreting the data perhaps mm. not as well yeah. as they could in later years once they'd developed the technology and had more yeah. <laughs> frequent use and training. Um, exactly. So there are possibilities that yeah. just a mistake. However, to fire a fourteen hundred rounds upon something. They they were firing for an hour and a half. Uh, an hour and a half, and and, yeah. and no one seems to hit hit it. Yeah. But to still know there's something there and keep firing. Well, the thing is with the flat grenades, you don't yeah. tend to actually aim them. You do, you do just fire. You just mm. hold a, 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 a zone and you just fire at it. Yeah, the idea you, being you just put lots of metal in the sky and you, you don't really aim. You have, the have 50 some, cal, you have to have some kind of target. Yeah, the fifty cal has got a big target thing on, on the barrel, and you aim that. What the hell are they aiming at? There you go. You've got to be exactly the fifty cal has got to be aiming at something. Yeah, I mean you, you you do sort of like the searchlight sweep and you do sort of just fire into the searchlights. But so if um, it was misidentification of atmospheric yeah. phenomenon. The ground personnel should have been able to pick that up really quickly and they go. They shoot the shit out of a cloud. <laughs> yeah, it, I, I just don't see them shooting the shit out of a cloud for an hour and a half. No, I, I, you're then going to have these little pockets of little black smoke and things as well, and this from the from the again from the flak. So uh, maybe they're seeing that and, and different lights. Uh, they and... had multiple spotlights up on it. Yeah, uh, the, you can clearly clearly see converge on a single single yeah. point in the in the photograph. Yeah, we'll talk uh, about the photograph in a second, because that's, so, yeah, that's what made this iconic, really, isn't it? As well, why did they? Why, if if it was possibly war nerves, there were certain things that they were scared of and they did believe. Mm -hmm. um, there was these balloon bombs, which the Japanese said they didn't use till later. Um, it actually did take out one of these. What they used to do was get the, get the balloon, put a bomb in it, and just let it go. Uh, and they did it with like a kite as well, apparently. And the idea was it was just a completely random, but it was a really cheap. So if you just send thousands of them. Yeah, something eventually will yeah, hit yeah. something. Apparently, one did hit a picnicker once. He's on. He's on. He's having a picnic in in one some park, and I guess you were killed. Um, oh, right. Wow. But, okay. I didn't. didn't yeah. Didn't but they said that was a few years later. Um, there was rumours that Mexico had um, sold the Japanese an airstrip, and that they were flying potentially flying missions from Mexico. Something the Mexicans firmly deny. And okay. <laughs> seriously, I... you potentially screwed over the most powerful neighbour in the world and that afterwards they denied it. Yeah, they did. Because <laughs> that's a possibility. The Japanese denied it as well. But then after... after uh, it's a possibility. After Hiroshima, you wouldn't, you'd wouldn't. you say, I'm so sorry, we didn't do anything. Yeah, I promise yeah, yeah. we didn't do anything. Um, and there's obviously there's, there's the thing about U-boats and potentially putting planes on U-boats and it was like a throwaway attack. So you'd put a plane, launch it from the U-boat and then um, you ditch it, pick the pilot up in the view boat and head home. And that was actually something that was they were trying to develop. So there was that okay. figure as well. So yeah, which which in in, in times of war, yeah, yeah. I suppose. Uh, yeah. Right. So you mentioned it, the photo. Yes. The famous one is this iconic one. There's like four or five lights, Spotlights. converging yeah. on what looks like a UFO. Yeah. Um, potentially some little orbs around it as well. Um, yeah, it's quite a, an interesting picture. It, it do, does appear to converge on a on an object uh, that does look like yeah. perhaps it's reflective in nature, perhaps metallic, and it's reflecting some of that light. It looks back solid, out. and at the end of the day, light doesn't. It, it needs something solid to hit. So that was the the theory. That at the end of the day, there's something there that they were they were pointing at. Um, there's a few problems with the photo, though, isn't there? That's come out since. That's, yeah, there is. I mean, the the original negative. We were not aware of its 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 origins. Yeah. The photo that all the analysis of this incident is is based upon is a a photograph that was a a negative copy. Yeah, that has a a different notch in it. To the, that, to yeah, the rest all these, of the the negative film was was marked with these little notches to get things, so you know what type of stock 
Yeah, what type of camera film? Camera wise, camera film was. So you knew. I saw. I saw your mum. So you knew which film was which. And this photo in particular had a different notch. Yeah, LA yeah, Times. That was one of the one that printed the photo the first time. Yeah, they were so, also so the first ones to talk about that aliens. It was the, the, the negative was taken by an LA Times photographer who all used yeah. a certain type of camera with a certain type of film with a particular notch. However, this negative is different. Yeah, it's completely different to the rest of the archive of the Times magazine. Yeah, photographs so, negatives. The problem so, with that is then we don't know who took the photo. No, we don't know where the photo come from, which is a problem. And the photo that was published in the, the, the magazine is, is, is significantly enhanced, touched up from the original, well, from this it's, copy negative that we have common. available. They're saying with black and white images being of poor quality, it was common to touch up the photos, bring out the blacks, bring out the thing. Yes. Had to, um, just because the photos were generally so rubbish. They weren't good enough for the newspaper, so they had to touch them up. Um, the problem was when they touched it up, this bloody big object appears, hmm. and the original photos it isn't as clear. No, I'll put it that way. No, it's uh, so, yeah. it's uh, yeah, much lower contrast. You can't make out any of the mountains or, yeah. or the, the you know in, in in the picture. You've lost the the mountain line. You, yeah. You've got the the spotlights, but much fainter. Yeah. Um, it is quite yeah. And it was the LA Times newspaper that was the first one to come out and start saying. There's UFOs. They found a couple of people that said they'd seen objects in the searchlights, um, and that they potentially weren't aircraft. So that's where the alien thing come from, um, and then <laughs> that really did stick. In 1949, the official line came out that says no, it was weather balloons. Weather balloons were released, but this is a bit of a nonsense. They would release the weather balloons on purpose because then it helped them track the guns. So that should have been like policy and procedure. You know what I mean? It's like that should have been normal. Um, there was an object seen that was floating very slowly that some people said was a disc. Some people said looked like a balloon. Probably a balloon then. No, it seems to always be a balloon, doesn't it, in the official yeah. story? Do they light? They've got an they've got an array of these uh, different different shapes and sizes of these balloons. That's all I can say. Yeah. Well, I like if we talk about Roswell just very quickly, but we'll do a full episode on that. Maybe we'll do a series on. But um, the the weather balloon story on that, I just like they said it was a weather balloon. Mm. Um, in fact, first of all, they said the government said it was an alien because obviously the the commander came out was it's a UFO, and then they said no, 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 it's just this weather balloon. There's an iconic photo room stood there going, "What the hell is this? This isn't what I saw." <laughs> yeah. um, but then Roswell, I see you right, yes. Yeah, but then they um, came out with the official, official, official version. It was it was this air balloon with these fancy detectors on it because they were trying to see whether the the Ruskies were were setting off nukes or not. So it was actually a special air balloon that, that that had been shot that had crashed um, and that's why it was secret because the the um, was, I, I want to say operation mongoose but i might be that's no, a different know, mongoose sure. in it um uh, that was a different so say it was it was top secret until like 2015 or something so um so it's always an air balloon but it will and this will be it wasn't a special air balloon they just said it was a weather balloon um and and they they, they send them up they track where they go, and then yep. it helps them track the guns. So it was on purpose. But they said they saw it and shot at it. They actually was an or it was they were ordered to shoot it down, weren't they? Apparently, yeah, apparently, yeah, or ordered to um, shoot down there. And then everyone just went batshit crazy and just started yeah. firing. <laughs> I just don't think you'd 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 continually keep firing for an hour and a half at something that you no longer believed was there or that you'd misidentified yeah. in the first place. And I think an hour and a half would be long enough for you to I'd be eyeballing it that you. would yeah, you 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 you'd, you'd conclude whether it was indeed yeah. a metallic object or a weather balloon. And balloons a, are really easy to pop down. Mm, exactly, and a, a balloon that had been hit by that many rounds, yeah. uh, I think, would no longer be there after about a minute. Yes. Let alone the other hour and twenty nine minutes. And that you they could would take it down with fifty cal. You wouldn't start shooting flak at it. You know, you'd, you'd take yeah. it down with a fifty cal. But anyway, um, so some of the things that were then reported on the night. There were reports that there was a dozen aircraft that was even repeated by the Minister of War. Um, there was... <laughs> um, reports of a downed space, spacecraft. Yeah. Uh, an, an aircraft that had crashed on Vermont Avenue. Or some, some, something crashed on Vermont Avenue. Avenue. Um, some, some police 
accounts and some witness statements supposedly. Uh, there was, that something was it was police, down there. firemen, all which sorts is of which is possible. It is it's possible. But military maybe people. we did down it after firing at it for an hour and a half. Yeah. Although you'd have thought if you hadn't downed it after the first ten minutes, you're probably not going to have downed it after another. Well, that's hour the thing because there was reports um, that it was multiple aircraft. There multiple, are multiple somethings in the sky. Well, some reports have said they had up to uh, two hundred, but that seems uh, a bit panicky. Well, the, yeah, the photographic evidence doesn't really yeah. correspond to a swarm <coughs> of UFOs. No. Like, uh, there's that quite in, good. Overwatch. There's quite good footage in there in Mexico of a swarm of uh, yeah, oh, yes. UFOs yeah. in the daytime, which again is pretty unusual. That's I, quite. I think that's drones. Possibly, possibly, possibly. You know, that, that's, that, that, would, that would be the footage I'll be nothing. expecting to look at yeah. <laughs> yeah. to corroborate multiple sites. Right, so if we're still going to say, well, I, I, I genuinely don't think this was a UFO incident. I, I actually think this was war nerves. I, I can completely understand how one person starts firing, everyone starts firing, new radar, new systems, something. But, right, so that, that's just my personal opinion. I wasn't there. It's hard to, it's hard to judge. Um, but there's an incident um, Cape Girardeau which was about a year before this yeah, it was in April 1941 yeah. um, and this was classic this is again like Roswell um, a, the, the local preacher uh, a Reverend William Huffman was woken up in the middle of the night and sent off to this 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 uh, uh, what he thought right. was a downed aircraft okay. and as he thought there was three things and he was asked to do the last rites but when he arrived they were they were classic greys Big eyes, big head, no mouth, little eye, little scrawny bodies. Um, and he, two were dead on it when he arrived, one was barely alive, and he did the last strikes. Now this, he, he says he saw the aircraft, or saw the spacecraft, he saw something look like hieroglyphs, from like, you know, um, Egyptian hieroglyphs that he yep. saw, which, which tallies in with lots of other stories. It does indeed. Um, he then didn't tell anyone about this, was told not to tell anyone. Loads of witnesses, there was loads of photos taken, but all the photos were then d dragged back except for one. One snuck out um, that was then, which I can't find a copy of, but apparently was then seen by his daughter and things years later. But then he didn't tell anyone until the 70s when he's basically in his, on his deathbed, told his daughter. His daughter told the world. And it's become quite a famous incident now. But this was literally um, just over, a, uh, just under a year before yeah, which this instant kind of makes sense, I suppose, in the sense that the new technology, the radar being developed, um, perhaps mm. that was having some effect on the <coughs> uh, propulsion systems of these uh, yeah. interplanetary uh, visitors, and, well, uh, and just, then we're starting we just to start see some big see, air guns see some as well. Craft. Well, yeah, uh, anti anti aircraft so, um, uh, guns were yeah in, so in early development, weren't they? We're saying that aliens were visiting. They might start visiting more often because they would have known they would have known World War Two was going to happen I don't think they can see into the future or well, maybe they can I don't know well, but all, historically all kind of, they must have known something was brewing yeah, something was about to happen all, maybe they were all kind of coincides you know they were sort of interested in the research of well watching, mostly what? the development of nuclear weapons and the ability to cause significant destruction yep. would probably make a mm -hmm. race that was watching our development potentially yeah. take a more I, of a keen I honestly interest. think if there's alien species that have survived that long to have interplanetary capabilities mm -hmm. they probably don't have war anymore so when they no, find like a, a baby race like us, they probably would be quite interested in studying us. Yes. And then things like this happen, they would be like, oh. But not from afar, studying from afar almost, not getting too too involved, yeah. watching, which yeah. is what we have a lot of reports of UFOs mm. appear to be doing. They appear to just be reconnaissance and watching, br brief yeah. watching and then gone again. Picking up the odd person, mainly probing them. Yeah. And then dropping yeah, yeah. them back off. What do you think though about because I mean he's a preacher so if we assume the story was true which I think I don't think he was lying the problem is we haven't got the original story from him it's through his daughter and through the, but 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 oh, I th I, I, yeah I don't think he well, he's pro probably yeah. probably not lying he possibly was what do you to think do about the last them, rites yeah but what do you think uh, about them calling him to do the last rites it's, it's, it's an, now we look back one. and we think well, does that make sense but well, very religious still back then, yeah, I suppose. That's my thinking. So maybe it's it's plausible. It's plausible that they could do it. If this I hadn't mean, really happened before as well, and they didn't really know what to do, and they, like you said, they were religious, they might just go to sort of like, what do we do? We need to we need to form our strikes. They would almost do what they would do. Yeah, for a human, maybe. But if there was a damn space spacecraft at this incident in 
41 and then mm. a downed spacecraft at the Battle of Los Angeles in 42. They were really poor still in 47 at covering it up. You'd have thought third time round, you know, that was the, the third time in Roswell, but there'd be a bit better at it by then. But there actually, are some other incidents pretty, between 42 and 47. I think they cleaned Roswell pretty well. The, the witnesses well, that apart saw from, it... Apart, apart from the initial statement made by the... Um, that uh, was a cock-up. ...base commander that I'll said... I'll go with that, that was a cock-up. <laughs> like, I, yeah. I, I honestly think what happened there was, was, was he just was... was, was he wasn't in the loop. Well, no, no, he wasn't in the loop, but he was absolutely awestruck by what had actually occurred mm. and thought, I've got to share this with the world and shared it mm. before his superiors gagged him. Yeah. Uh, it would be my, my, my guess I think as he to was how, that, how that yes, occurred. He thought, this is, this um, is world changing and told the truth. He wasn't in the loop of, actually, there are aliens and if you find one, shut up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He, he wasn't privy to the previous down yeah. crashes, perhaps, of 41, yeah. 42. I think there was one in Aztec. Yes, New Mexico as well as Roswell prior to 47 in like 44 yeah. was it or something as well yes, 45 um, but also you think about Foo Fighters yes Foo Fighters during World War II there was II. a lot of corroborated you know a lot of sightings of UFOs during a period where actually people had other things to worry about and, but and they were, were still talking about for enemy advanced enemy <clears> aircraft <throat> rather yeah. than yeah. But there was a lot of UFO sightings, is my point. So it seems to me that if aliens are visiting, they were that was a that was a busy period for them. They were really interested in watching this period. Well, radar, nuclear weapons developed. I think yeah. the, 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 the 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 technological development in that period could make a watcher race watch yeah. you more more close frequently um, because of the destructive power you're developing. Yeah. So it that does tend to coincide with with with. What I would, I would think so, possibly. So it, I, I think this one's yeah. very much a 50-50 for me in, in the sense that I don't believe that that many rounds could be shot at nothing for an hour and they a half. They were shooting at something, weren't they? I don't think we know what they were shooting at, but they were shooting at something. Yeah. And whether it was Japanese aircraft that then the Japanese have lied about since. Mm -hmm. um, and the Americans maybe want them to lie because they don't want to admit that they, actually LA was attacked. Um, I don't. I don't think they would because actually, if they repelled the attack, they'd be quite proud of that, wouldn't they? I, I don't. I don't think they do do just the one craft. Anyway, no. if you were going to attack an American city, it'd be multiple aircraft, wouldn't it? You do. What's the you, point? Do, you do a good job on it. Why, Unless it why was take like one craft attacks? Uh, yeah, but no, they just and it was just like a terror attack, I suppose, and it was just one of these U-boat things. So it was only one aircraft. Yeah, but, but two in the morning. It doesn't seem or would you do it at I don't know. Seven o'clock on an evening on a big baseball game in the middle of a baseball stadium. If you just wanted, if terror. you just wanted terror and casualties, yeah. you'd target something quite specifically. If you were just doing it yeah. with a single. But plane. Listen, the Americans um, did this though. After Pearl Harbor, they wanted to attack, and it was um, I'm going to say Doolittle uh, was with the idea, um, but then they couldn't get there. So mm. they did. They they took a few of the bombers. They stripped them out to nothing. Yep. They flew over. They just wanted to hit the target. They didn't care what damage they made. They just wanted to have a blow back, and then they flew into China, crashed the aircraft, and 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 got out through China. Um, that was no strategic value really. It was it was more of a, we just need to hit them back. Maybe yeah. this was the Sh Japanese trying to do a show of, similar. just a show of strength perhaps, yeah. but then denying it was you. <clears throat> Well, maybe, but that, that's what I mean. Then the Japanese, then after the war, lied about it. Maybe it's not really a show of strength, then, is it? If you don't no. admit to it, you have, no. to, you have to you have to admit to the the event in order to be showing strength mm. Mm. and cause some kind of damage to something. Yeah, which I don't think anything occurred like that on in 1942 at the Battle of LA. So possibly not. I wonder whether do you, do you actually think a UFO could have been shot down and cleared up that quickly? Because there were again there were reports about something landing and something being shot down, but then officially nothing, and and by the next day it was gone. Well, is it possible? It's possible. Been... Because then I was thinking about um, Bob Lazar. Uh, yeah, Bob yeah. Lazar, um, all his things. He was saying that when he saw the UFOs in oh, the hangar, yeah, several craft in the hangar when something. he was there in the what in the eighties, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And one of them, he said, had been damaged. It looked like it had been hit by a shell. Yes. It looked like it was damaged. Um, I, I know that's a bit of a stretch. It is a bit of a stretch, yeah, yeah. But 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 it's, it does link potentially a link there. I mean, he, he Bob Lazar wouldn't be able to tell the ages of uh, how long. No, he said he thought some of these been in the possession of the American. Some government. of these UFOs had been dug up like they were ancient sort of thing. Yeah, he thought, didn't he? Like um, 
or, or he'd been told that they were ancient and actually been found, sort of thing. But, but you know, but, that, that kind of kind of ties in with the several of the. If you think about the number of events where supposedly there were downcraft in America in the in the forties, mm. there were probably four or four or four or five. And he was saying he went there and there were what four, five, six of these yeah. aircraft. So the, the the numbers are even starting to to, to tally to, up to tally up a little about incidents we think we know about. The UFOs we think the Americans have got um, seem to and, be about the yeah. same, about half a dozen. And I can imagine reverse engineering these craft was, was a very slow process when you're completely unaware mm -hmm. of the propulsion system they're even using to start with, and you've got to figure yeah. everything out oh, I without think it would having take, the technology. Yeah, I don't think we'd be flying, we'd be reverse engineering, but sorry, because it's not just about the technology, it's about the materials, mm -hmm. and we can't necessarily. We're not very good at making materials. We're getting better now. We're starting to have nanomaterials and all these sorts of things. But that te that w that took us a long time to figure out. And if there are the sort of the materials problems I was talking about, we may not know how to replicate, or we may not be able to re replicate. So the, the conspiracy side of it goes that Lock Lockheed Martin um, had basically reverse engineered um, at these these crafts in Area Fifty One, mm. and we're getting a, a sort of their heads around the propulsion technology in the in the eighties. Mm. Mm. And he gave a famous speech in the in nineteen eighty nine, didn't he? Ben Rich, the director yes. of Lockheed Martin, where he says we now have the power to take ET home. Mm. So if they had been crash landed in the early forties, mm. recovered, it took till the end of the eighties to, which is a good fifty years to get yeah. grasp of the. Or reverse engineer the technology, which again, with with some of the world's greatest experts on it, mm. I think it would take that kind of time period. So to, you get the to, argument to, then, though, is why aren't they releasing it? Why aren't we seeing it? Technology wins a war. You know, you don't want to lose a war. Yeah, but even and that thing, all, case, and we're all warring with each other. If you've got constantly. technology that, that's that difficult to, and they nobody else can copy you, you could have. I mean, why are we still spending billions on rocket technology if we don't need it? No. Um, because it keeps the masses ignorant. But why? Why bother? Why bother? We release everything else. Why? Why? Why bother? Why not just go? Look how amazing America is. We've to figure out how to do um, anti graft technology. Aren't we incredible? Yeah. Instead, they're going. Aren't we yeah, incredible? Yeah, right. We're going to have to buy rockets look, off the Russians at, look because at, we can't build them. Look at organisations like DARPA in America that have been in continual development of uh, futuristic weapons mm. since World War Two. Yeah. In a continual state of of war. Mm -hmm developing weapons for the future yeah. so the weapons they're developing are probably based off of technologies that we don't know exist yeah so if, if none of us know those technologies exist their enemies don't know they exist so they don't know what weapons they've got either so it's they reckon any point with the government is on messing around with things roughly 10 to 15 years ahead of what we know about i think but could, that's an estimate I, I could be that's... i think it could be a lot lot more than that i yeah, mean if possibly. you if you look at the compu computers um they were saying that the computer systems that the intelligence agencies were using back in the Early days in the fifties and sixties, mm. we didn't see in the home until like the you know the nineties. I'm the, not the sure 20, that's 20, true 20, anymore, 25, 30 though. years. Pat, well, I'm yeah. not so sure. That that's what I've heard no, them but, say. But um, I, but but I think big companies um, like Google and things like this are over life. Thirty oh, years now, ago, now yeah, probably now, yeah. Thirty years ago, you couldn't do big projects like this without government funding. Now you can. You yes. don't need government funding anymore to do these big projects. No, you don't. So, you know, all the quantum computers now, we know yeah. about them, we know what they're doing because there's no government funding, they've not like classified it um, and can't because it's it's Google that are building the damn thing. So yeah. um, so I, do, I think it's changed. I actually think we could have reversed engineered this technology, we could have it, but elements of it are so difficult to replicate to reproduce. or... We don't have the material, so we've only really got the source material from the galaxy down of craft. Say it's like um, a nuclear core. Well, according to Bob Lazar, they're anti-gravity uh, fuel fuel source, aren't they? Yeah, um, one fifteen. So, 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 uh, even at the moment in the the current scientific world, mm. they can only produce very, very, very so an anti-gravity or antimatter. Do I say anti-gravity? Yeah, antimatter yeah. anti um, is the fuel source for these yeah. anti-gravity propulsion systems. Well, we can only produce very minute amounts. Yeah, and need things of, like the Large of, Hadron of, Collider and stuff like that to do it. Yeah, <laughs> which requires an incredible amount of energy to produce these yeah. uh, to produce this fuel, mm. and therefore it, we haven't got an efficient method of production yeah. for the fuel source yet. If if we can replicate it all, I was wondering whether we we can we would we'd having to still use bits. Say like say we've got a reactor or whatever is is in the in the uh, in the craft, and so do you you so you. You can't replicate this one bit, so you can build the you can build a flying saucer, but you can't replicate this one bit. So you have to maybe like 
take it out. But so that would mean we can't Imagine. admit it because we can't actually completely replicate they, the technology. They, they, they could have built a particle accelerator under the desert in uh, in Area 51 that you don't even know is there that's larger than the one at CERN at Geneva in Switzerland, and they could be producing mm. anti an, antimatter anti underground under Area 51 to fly there's, the craft out of there. There's been so lots and lots of construction in Area 51 in Groom Lake. We know that. Yes. Lots of heavily, buildings heavily, have appeared. Yeah. Lots of things have appeared, and so. And a lot yeah. of it, and they know that a lot of it's underground, don't they, as well? So, uh, yeah, they think they think, well, yeah, when we've seen vi um, uh, satellite imagery, we've said that it's, a, it's, it's obvious that large sections of this are underground. They're, 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 they're even that's not really a conspiracy theory to say that we only really see the tip of the iceberg, we, we're seeing the tops of things, yeah. we're seeing the doors in and out, sort of thing, but not, yeah. not yeah, much yeah. else. Yeah, we're seeing the doors and the, yeah. <laughs> probably the canteen or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can see several canteens. Um, but it. yeah, no, that's right. So what? So what do you? What do you think then? Do I, like say, I, I, I don't think this is actually a UFO encounter, but I think it's possible. I think it could have been, but personally, I find it easier to believe war jitters, um, a balloon. People started shooting, and then it just it was just. Um, yeah, no, I'm on 50 50 because there's the lack of the original negative, which, you know, lack of uh, original evidence mm. seems to be a uh, standard of the compartmentalising yeah. by the, the CIA in these <coughs> UFO uh, in incidents. Um, the one thing that, that, that uh, really uh, stops me, the one thing that really I do struggle with, yeah. is if it was war jitters, yeah. why did they fire for an hour and a half? Yeah, that's the one thing that I can't yeah. quite get my head around because from an, I know from experience over the years that you know you get stressed, you think you make mistakes. It tends to last a couple of seconds and then you stop. Yeah, that's it. You, you know? realise um, your mistake, but yeah. you keep making that mistake for an hour and a half and then go, oh no, hold on, oh it was, oh it was a and weather then, balloon for the first minute. That that yeah. that then we shot to smithereens, and, and no now we've been shooting. A, ordered them to a stop. Cloud. No, no commander said stop firing or, or asked, what are you firing at? And had plenty of time to get an answer. And you see confusion at the entire, uh, entire chain of command up to the president as well. Nobody mm. really knew mm. exactly what it was or what they were firing on. or And that goes all the way to the president. So that, that confusion all the way up the chain. Yeah. If it was a secret <clears throat> military craft compartmentalised, so compartmentalised that the American government didn't know about it even on the highest mm. level the president wasn't aware and they couldn't let him know that that was flying at that yeah. time now I, I don't really buy, buy that again because so, you know, i'm just thinking it, about this as you're talking so i'm just thinking actually i'm saying it's not a ufo and i don't believe and i believe it was actually think about it i don't really believe it was water i believe the water just could have set it off i think that's yeah. why they could have started firing but why did they keep firing i don't mm. believe that i don't believe it was the weather balloon because i believe that actually they were the military had asked them to be launched so i don't i don't believe that um, so actually, what do I believe? <laughs> I'm not sure. Something happened. Something happened. And I'm, I'm, yeah. I fear we're probably never going to find out what. No, it's an unidentified flying object, object that was fired upon for an hour and a half. And ended up in Roswell. Possibly the, not an end of it, Roswell, sorry. The, ended up in Area 51. From the reflections on the negative, we could possibly argue that was a opaque, probably metallic object capable yeah. of reflecting the spotlights yeah. that was... That were, uh, it did seem to it. me they were hitting something solid. It does seem to me they were hitting something solid. But but you also, if you're firing these rounds for an hour and a half, and you're you're watching these rounds going straight at it, but then well, there, but then none, none of them are actually hitting it, and they're all exploding. Mm. I don't know, just short of it because there's some kind of force field or something around it protecting it. Yeah, you would see that these that the rounds were. We're exploding and short doing nothing, yeah. and doing nothing. You would then after 15, 10, 15 minutes of that, surely you would stop and go, this is, this isn't working, what the fuck is it? I, I, th I think Americans would po quite possibly go keep firing. That is one yeah. theory for this, actually, that, that, that this was a UFO and it hung off LA and it just sat there and it was a warning. Um, stop messing around. You can't hurt us, you can't touch us, stop trying. And this Possibly, is actually yeah. a very clear warning to the American government of quit it. Yeah, seriously <laughs> quit it. Like, look, you can't touch us. Here we are coming in and you're the leader of the free world. We, we can yeah. come right up to it. We can do what we want. You can't touch us. Stop 
indiscriminately killing people with nuclear weapons. This is yeah. not a good path to go down. Yeah, the other thing Maybe. is as well that we actually but, were talking to the aliens at this point, so but had stopped for some reason. And then again, this was a you can't touch us, you can't then get do as you're told. Yeah, perhaps. So I, I don't think in forty two though. I don't think that they would have needed to have given us that warning yet, unless Maybe. they were perhaps perhaps just unhappy with this, it's with this only to do with, you, It's only to do with nuclear weapons. There could be lots of reasons. There, why could, there could be lots of reasons, but I'd say nuclear weapons is top of my list as, yeah, as to what possibly. would piss off a alien species that's been watching our development. So you say that, though, I don't I, think they'd, they'd be so far advanced. I'm not sure they'd be that bothered about nuclear weapons. They, well, the nuclear weapons can't hurt them anyway. And maybe they're trying to but stop us from killing ourselves. Well, but they might in the want... blast radius, and they're, they're visiting the Earth at the time, and we let one off. It could, but yeah, yeah, maybe. right, yes. But um, I suppose but... in the cosmic scale, nuclear weapons are still insignificant in terms of their the power that they they have. Yeah, they have. but I just think that but... the UFOs may want. There's several other things they could want off us that the government could have been maybe not sharing, and and they've sort of said, yeah, this this was a warning of some sort. Yeah, but anyway. That's what we think. Um, we're going to be doing another s episode on... I think we'll have to actually do the Washington buzz. Because I think yeah. that's interesting. Yeah, it's quite an interesting, interesting event um, that, that occurred. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Please like and subscribe. Yeah. Ready? Do you, give me, do you want me to give you a slap to wake you up? <laughs> I think that's a, that's a, that, that should be our new technique. No, I don't. <laughs> get you, strangely get you enough, and get you into it. Strangely enough, no, I'm not not so down with that. That You're idea, not so no, not so down with getting not, not me so punching much. you in the face to get you going. No, no. <laughs> I, I wonder why that might be. I don't know. I think it was a bit, a bit of a girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that'll go in the end of the video now. <laughs> I can't accept the bit of a girl, but uh. right, okay.